Howdy Retro Fam, this is my new 286 from Ergo Electronics, a company based in New York in the 80s and early 90s. This is the VGA card and it's made by Western Digital Corporation. Yes, they made VGA cards apparently and of course hard drives. This is a beautiful ISA card, perfect condition. Now the 286 itself works. It won't boot from the hard drive, but it's an IDE drive, so we can easily replace that. The cosmetic condition is horrible. It's yellow, it smells bad. It's very, very ugly. But we're gonna give it a little bit of massage, a little bit of spa, a little bit of kisses, and it's gonna be okay again. And I'm not gonna use RetroBright. It will just become yellow again. So I'm going to paint it, just use off-white color and um, practice before and it's pretty easy to do. Now I don't want to hear any complaints about um, why do you do this to this uh, historical thing. It's not an historical thing, it's a stupid 286 from a... Who, who heard of Ergo Electronics? I never heard of them. It's my computer, I do whatever I want with my computer. And I'm gonna make it look good because I don't want to see this ugly yellow color. Now, do you want to smear it with uh, some chemicals and make it kind of white and uh, just wait a couple of months and it becomes yellow again? Or do you want a permanent solution? I like permanent solutions. So we're gonna remove the motherboard because I wanna see how it looks. I think it looks pretty decent. It has some kind of white ISA thing there off the market and this is how hardware guys fix their bugs. No signs of any battery corrosion. Not even sure if this had a battery on it. CIMOS and you have the BIOS there. The, and this is the 286 itself, the CPU. Down there to the left is the ISA slots and then you have the memory there. We have lots of uh, slots to fill with memory. That's a kind of odd board add-on. Hmm. It's always fun to look at these old computers. Ergo Electronics Company. Thank you very much. Now the box itself it looks kind of like a military thing, don't you think? But it's in perfect condition inside. No rust, original color, straight from Vietnam. And uh, we have this aftermarket battery pack there to the right. And this is good, they print the different jumper configurations so they don't have to answer the phone when angry customers call and uh, ask how to disable the serial port. And this is apparently a 10 megahertz and uh, mono graphics, that's not true, we have a VGA graphics on this one. Jumper settings quick reference table. We should get the manual maybe also and see if there are some hidden things we can do. Thank you Ergo. This is the power supply. It's a hazardous power supply from Ergo System International. Pericolo. Aria peligrosa. Be very careful. And the battery. Just standard batteries inside. AA. Or is it AAA? AA? A. And a bass booster speaker there under the batteries. Here's a nice view of the motherboard for you guys. I always like to film the motherboards. <laughs> I always like to do this. And I know it annoys some people, but hey, please don't unsubscribe. computer porn. 
it's going to be banned from YouTube. And this is how she looked uh, after I painted her in off-white. It's pretty nice, huh? This looks brand new. Our 286. IMP. Do you see IMP on the logo? But it's an Ergo Electronics. Uh, who cares? Okay, so you know we can continue, and I think we should try to install DOS six point two two. This is the original hard drive, and I have to replace it. I just put it back in because I want to see how cool it looks. Okay, so six point twenty two Swedish, of course, because Swedish is the new international language that all countries will have as their second language to begin with. Then. It will be the main language of all countries on the globe because it's so easy to understand. Um, remind me of uh, getting a better capture card or something because I'm just filming the screen right now. But hey, it's YouTube. This is the installation of MS-DOS in Swedish and we are doing it very fast. Wow. This is really great, huh? And good music too. Almost there now. We have DOS. We have DOS. And we can run QBasic. This was my one of my favorite systems or softwares. I could make some easy basic here under DOS. Seems to work fine. We have good colors. I'm gonna make a hack here. The virus. Uh, I think it was F5. Yeah. Okay, so here she is again. Put some more cards inside Ethernet and, uh, and a Sun Blaster card. And this drive, because um, I couldn't find any actually small enough to, to get to work. And this is a sound blaster, VGA. And I forgot to say, this, this card here is, uh, is an uh, IDE card and also it handles the floppies. And from the back. Oh, she's really white. More info for you there on the back, and um, I don't know. Should we install Windows? Maybe Windows um, One? No, we can't install Windows 3.11 because it won't run on a 286. So we need to install Windows 2, I guess. And uh, we have uh, you can switch uh, to different uh, speed settings on the buttons there, slow and fast, or turbo as they called it. And uh, look, with the keyboard, I just found a Keytronic. Um, good enough. It's uh, probably gonna do some uh, damage because it's not the same color. But, um, you know, here's the IMP again. And um, let's continue and install Windows 2. I'm gonna do this very fast because I'm so fast. Of course, Swedish again, guys. What do you expect? This is uh, Microsoft's latest release of Windows 2. Of course, it only comes in Swedish. And um, 
if you haven't seen it it's uh, really good it has good uh, graphical interface and uh, you can um, have this um, really really good start menu and um, you can host all your softwares on on this uh, excellent operating system Here we go, Microsoft Windows 2.1 on the 286 that we just fixed and ah, the MS-DOS Central. Let's go and try to open this, that's called practice in English and we can see there's a Swedish um, letter here that says uh, that something about something. And um, you, this is basically, you know, just like uh, opening the Explorer. Windows and you can select the calendar and there's your app um, I don't know what you're gonna do with it I never used it and um, you have all the menus here so it was like a, you could see where it was going I guess you can see that this is going to be how pieces will be managed and uh, the calculator And uh, what else? What do we have here, guys? Not so much, actually. Here's the clock. And we can go to Paint, MS Paint. Still, these old softwares are still available in newer release releases of Windows, in Windows 10 even. And we have Spooler, Terminal. The Terminal is a serial terminal. You could use uh, modem to call the other guys on the BBSs or mine and we have the board rate everything here it's a bit more easy to manage than doing this in DOS of course okay guys please subscribe see you soon and um, maybe I get back to Windows 2.1 someday anyway